What is up you guys? Welcome back to another one. If you are new to the channel, I am Gold Pony. Today, we are in the new 2019 Lexus IS300 F Sport, courtesy of Bobby Ray Hall Lexus in Mechanicsburg, PA. And so this has always been a fun one for me in previous reviews, so I decided to check it out again. Not to mention, one of the most reliable cars out there still. Of course, it is essentially a Toyota, but enough with the intro here. As always, let's start with pricing. And so to start, the IS300 F Sport will come in two different variants rear-wheel drive version which will start at $41,605 and the all-wheel drive version starting at $43,655. And I broke down the pricing that way because dependent if you go with the rear-wheel drive or the all-wheel drive the power plant is actually going to be different. And so if you went with the rear-wheel drive setup of the IS300 F Sport you will get a two-liter turbocharged inline four-cylinder putting out 241 horsepower 258 pound-feet of torque again sent to the rear wheels through an eight-speed automatic giving you a zero to 60 of approximately approximately 6.8 seconds with MPG numbers 21 city 30 highway and then if you went with the all-wheel drive variant the one that we have today that is going to be powered by a 3.5 liter naturally aspirated v6 putting out 260 horsepower 236 pound-feet of torque again sent to all wheels but in this engine setup through a six-speed automatic so a little difference there as well but zero to 60 time on this one is going to come in at 6.1 seconds with MPG numbers 19 in the city 26 on the highway taking premium unleaded fuel but before we do any kind of accelerations in the is 300 i do want to mention there is a circular dial to adjust the driving modes directly behind the shifter and that's going to give you eco normal and sport but also a snow mode and that's going to be the button behind the circular dial but if you're like me and you live in a colder climate like pennsylvania that snow mode is definitely a blessing not to mention the all-wheel drive system in the is 300 as well so since it's in the 70s today though in pennsylvania we're going to go ahead and put it in that sport mode and actually i forgot to mention we do have paddle shifters as well here so let's go ahead and test out the acceleration along with the paddle shifters and we'll see how quickly we can get this naturally aspirated v6 up to speed <laughs> all right v6 in a smaller car like the is 300 definitely plenty of pull absolutely no issues emerging onto the highway also when it comes to the paddle shifters they were definitely pretty quick no issues there either All in all, plenty of power, good acceleration on the IS300 here. But so as always to go along with that acceleration, braking is equally important. And so as expected, you will find four wheel disc brakes on the IS300 and the F Sport is actually going to add high friction brake pads. That is one of the reasons I wanted to review this one because there are some additional performance upgrades for the F Sport IS. But those high friction brake pads are gonna give you greater responsiveness and reduced fade. And so all in all, when you add that up, when it comes to the braking feel, it's amazing. No issues with coming to a stop whatsoever in this thing. Then touching on suspension a little bit, you will get an adaptive variable suspension, which is going to monitor each shock absorber individually, really giving you the best of both worlds, tightening up the suspension around heavy cornering, and also reading the road's imperfections, giving you a smoother ride as well. And that's probably one of the first things I noticed in the IS. Got to be honest, it is definitely quite a nice ride in this thing, surprisingly, because a lot of times smaller cars, you won't get that. But the IS 300 is definitely soaking up PA's road imperfections quite well so far. And I did what I also mention, although we do have the all-wheel drive version today, if you went with the rear-wheel drive version, you will actually get a Torsen limited slip differential as well, meaning it's going to help send torque to the wheel with the most traction around the corners, really giving you a better acceleration as well, actually. But overall, as far as the steering feel goes, definitely has a nice weight to it. So no issues there for me. Cabin noise is also very nice. No issues with exterior noises coming into the cabin. But then again, we do have a Lexus here, so I suppose it is as expected and when it comes to visibility i could see perfectly fine out the back definitely one of the better vehicles for visibility and sedans you really don't have any issues there but visibility is definitely on point in the is but enough with the driving dynamics you guys let's now move on to the exterior of this new 2019 lexus is 300 f sport and so up front as expected you will find that large lexus spindle front grille to the sides led headlights with led daytime running lights and i did want to also mention an optional feature on this one you can get the triple beam led headlights for an additional one thousand one hundred and sixty dollars if you were interested there a little better visibility but make your way to the side you will find the f sport badging on the front fender along with 
body color power adjustable heated side mirrors with integrated turret signals. Then take a look down at the wheel setup. There are F Sport specific 18 inch double five spoke alloy wheels with all season tires that will be the standard setup for all IS300 F Sports there. Then make your way to the back. A rear spoiler will not come standard, but there is one available for only an additional $389 if you wanted that. F Sport badging once again found around back there along with LED taillights coming standard. And just below all of it, dual exhaust outlets with chrome tips. So you guys know what we have to do next. As always, here is that exhaust clip. So, but now since we are round back to open that rear trunk, easiest way, in my opinion, you could just simply use the button on the key fob. And there's actually a button just by the driver's right knee if you were sitting in the driver's seat, but I'm just gonna simply use the key fob today here. Once opened up, cargo capacity comes in at 10.8 cubic feet. If that was not enough space, those rear seats do fold down for quite a bit of extra space there if you needed it. To make our way up to the rear legroom, that is gonna come in at 32.2 inches, which honestly doesn't sound like a whole lot, but for reference, I'm an even six feet tall and I actually fit pretty well back there, so no issues for me at least. And for those rear passengers, there is also a rear center armrest with cup holders along with rear ventilation, and a power rear sunshade will be optional for the IS300 if you wanted it there. To make your way to the front seats, you will find power adjustable leather trimmed bucket seats that will come standard and they will actually be heated and ventilated, another standard feature there. And during my short little driving stint right now, I gotta say these are some of the most comfortable seats I have driven in in quite a while. This would be my road trip vehicle of choice just for the seating alone. They really are insanely comfortable. Not to mention it's a hot day and I got the ventilated seats on, so again, even more comfortable for that reason. Then looking forward, there is a tilt and telescoping steering wheel will come leather wrapped and there is a heated steering wheel available that will come standard but it is an option if you wanted it for colder climates then when it comes to the startup let me first start by showing you guys the key here you do have your lexus logo on the one side and when you flip it over lock unlock and again that button to pop the rear hatch but there is also of course keyless entry with a push button start so all i am going to do is simply put my foot on the brake and press that engine start button which is actually in the is 300 located just to the right of the gauges up top there. And so, but then once started up, of course, with the F Sport, you will find LFA inspired gauges. Absolutely love it. For those of you who don't know, LFA was Lexus's old supercar that sold for around $400,000 back in the day. Definitely a very nice car, but to adjust what is on those LFA inspired gauges, there are actually buttons on the steering wheel. And these gauges are pretty cool because you can really customize it. That center circular part of the gauges can slide to the right and then back to the middle again. And you can display all sorts of things up there. So definitely Definitely quite a fan of the gauges there, but then touching on overall interior quality a little bit, dual zone climate control will come standard on the IS300 F Sport. Along with a power moonroof, there's also a black headliner, aluminum pedals, and overall, when it comes to interior quality, Lexus is always on the top of the board in my books. One of the reasons I like it is because you can almost always find a color contrast. In this case, you have the black and the red, definitely looks good. And there's also a matte wood interior trim found throughout this one as well. And I like that it's a matte wood as opposed to a gloss wood because then you don't have any awkward reflections when you're driving it so I've run into that in a couple reviews in the past so that's always nice but perhaps the best part about the interior as always is the tech and so up front you will find a 10.3 inch display screen with the navigation package or the mark levinson package and so i mentioned those two because we do happen to have the navigation package today but either way bluetooth and audio streaming will come standard still no android auto quite yet unfortunately but i have a funny feeling it's going to be coming soon but Again, that factory navigation package does add $1,745. And of course, you can check out your radio settings up on that screen as well. And when it comes to the sound system, by the way, standard sound system is going to give you eight speakers. And if you wanted it, there is that 15 speaker Mark Levinson sound system with 835 watts. Although that is not the one we have today. We do have the eight speaker sound system. So let me go ahead and pull over here and let's turn on the radio, see what we got playing this morning. And let's test out the clarity of this eight speaker sound system. I 
actually not that bad of a sound system, honestly. Mark Levinson, of course, is gonna be killer, but really this eight speaker sound system is still quite impressive. But so then last thing I wanted to mention on the tech display at least is when you do put the IS300 in reverse, you will find a rear view camera letting you know who or what is behind you, which is always is going to lead me into safety. And so to start, there are front side and side curtain airbags, also standard driver and passenger knee airbags as well. That usually doesn't come standard on other manufacturers. In the back, you will find latch, AKA lower anchors and tethers for children for the rear car seats. Also standard, however, is something called Lexus Safety System Plus. And this is quite important because this is going to include a pre-collision system with pedestrian detection, dynamic radar cruise control, intelligent high beams, lane departure alert with steering assist, and also standard, a blind spot monitor with rear cross traffic alert definitely quite nice there but i am now pulling back into the dealership so that is about it for this one feel free to follow me on social media at the bottom of the screen there and i will see you guys in the next video stay gold